you have heard of the saying sex sells. A sex, sex sells. sells. Oh, okay, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mario yes, knows yes, all sir. about that. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Well, well, what I would say, what I would say also that negativity attracts. Now, when we think mm, of negativity, yeah. when we think of negativity, uh, we have what's called a negativity bias that is inbuilt within each and every one of us. Mm. And there's a very real positive reason for this. If our brains are able to pick up on the negative things, then it can prepare us on how to act. So if we are able to notice in our environment mm. a potential threat, our brain hyper-focuses on this threat. And when we hyper-focus on this particular threat, then we become more and more sensitized to threats in the future mm. so that we can react Interesting. in a positive way. So to get out of that situation. Now, if I understand your, uh, your thought, your, your question correctly, you said, why do people have a tendency to focus on the negative things that they have experienced in life? Yes, because, you know, it's just, just a brief, that. because let's just say LinkedIn, I'm seeing a lot of those business life coaches, you know what I mean? Mm. And, you know, those posts are starting like, you know, once upon a time, my life was boo-hoo-hoo, cry me a river. And like, and this is the tips, how do you be successful? Mm. And I mm. couldn't understand, I can't comprehend and try to use my little brain, you know what I mean? Why would I start something with negative, right? But you're the good guy, you know, who can explain this because you're helping others with a, with a dark deeds, I would call this, right? Okay, well, so, so Friedrich Nietzsche, the the very famous German philosopher who died in 1900, uh, said this, and many of you have heard this before but may not know this is where it comes from, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Now, that comes from a philosophical approach that when you overcome something, then necessarily you have overcame something that was out to cause you threat to yeah. cause you destruction and it adds a sort of authenticity to say that this is what i have accomplished and this is how i have done it in a way to establish a validity to the story that you are about to espouse mm -hmm. now you know why do we do this uh, it, you have to ask for each person's individual motivation. So yes. if you're on social media and somebody is trying to sell a product and they're saying, and they want to create a a need for that product, it has to appeal to most people. So mm. uh, I, I've you say I've experienced stress. Hey, are you guys feeling stressed? Your heart's picking up, or you know you're slouching, or or this or that. This is what I've got for you. This is how I used to be, and this is how I fixed it. It's appealing because many people, uh, just like in social media, we we are very attracted to quick fixes. And if somebody presents a quick fix, then of course, I mean, our, our body, our mind, our whole being wants to to avert danger. That's, yeah. that's the kind of thing. And so if a person is trying to sell something, sell a story, sell a, an idea or sell a product, then it's often you need to create a need for that, which is what business is all about. And then a very simple way of, of maximizing your response to that through what it is that you are offering. And the only way that you can do that, or well, one of the ways you could do that is by saying, I've been through it too. I'm not just talking out of my ass. 